Hi guys, this is Irina Grachova and Irina Grachova Racing Project and uh, today uh, we are talking about uh, uh, lithium batteries uh, with uh, Mikhail Rukin. Yes. Uh, we are in uh, Port La Bas in Lorient and we prepare my boat, my Mini, for a Solar Atlantic Crossing Race Mini Transat, which will start 26th of September 2021. When we are speaking about batteries for class mini, for mini transat uh, solar arrays, uh, we need to take in consideration uh, four most important points. The weight, reliability, efficiency and safety. And uh, together with Mastervolt and the uh, new product uh, lithium batteries MLI 1250, we try to find the best balance. So based on uh, class mini rules, I need to care on board uh, not less than 200 ampere hours uh, with uh, more than one battery. So we got two MLI 1250. Uh, weight of each of them is 15 kilograms. Mikhail is a more technical guy, uh, can tell more about these batteries. All right, so uh, Irina just said a few important uh, things. Uh, one of them was uh, reliability. So that's why we're working together with the Master Vault to provide us uh, with very, very good safety uh, or batteries from a safety point of view, that they will be reliable. When it comes to uh, safety, uh, one important thing is to have it waterproof because uh, a Mini is a kind of a wet boat um, and this is also a requirement from the Classe Mini that uh, the batteries are waterproof. And uh, we also said that uh, we have to have a minimum of uh, 200 amper hours uh, divided into two batteries. So this is why we have the two here. Uh, there are bigger uh, batteries on the market, but uh, the good thing here is that we have exactly 100 amp hours in each battery and uh, the weight is 15 kilos. Reliability is also about uh, managing the, the power inside of the battery. So uh, this is actually a big chunk of energy uh, stored into this battery and uh, to make it really reliable, you have to have, uh, including, uh, including the lithium battery, you have the battery monitoring system, the BMS. So uh, some solutions is to have it outside, uh, but this one has it included. So included in each battery, there's a BMS system. This is actually uh, super, super important because uh, when the, the voltage goes very low, uh, the state of charge, when the state of charge gets very low, it's actually a safety issue uh, in uh, lithium batteries. And also overcharging is also a safety issue. So this is why we have the BMS included in these batteries. It's because you don't want to discharge the battery from here. You don't want to overcharge the battery. And this is taken care of by the BMS. Another nice feature with the BMS is that you actually have a port here. So uh, please, if you can uh, show here. So it's just a normal ethernet connector. And uh, from that one, you can monitor uh, the state of charge, the voltage, the amperes going in and out. Uh, how many amperes hours who are uh, who, which are left in the batteries and so on and uh, this is uh, from this uh, service port you can connect it to this uh, master vault easy view and uh, on this one you can see for each battery you can see the state of charge you can see everything uh, just as I said uh, so this display will show the numbers so when you're sailing alone uh, many uh, you have to have control of so many things on the boat uh, where you're going uh, proper sails uh, trim and so on and one of the things that you really don't want to waste your energy on is to keep control of the charge of the batteries all right so one of the very nice things i found out when we got the batteries the other day here is that there's a small little button here so you can actually switch on and off the battery uh, by pressing the button so uh, you just disconnect uh, the battery poles by pressing a simple button and uh, this is actually a very good safety thing because if you're running out of, if you're getting a short circuit or maybe the boat is getting uh, filled with water or whatever is happening it's very very important to be able to shut off uh, the power of these uh, lithium batteries the toughest test you can do with your lithium batteries is to put it on your mini and cross the atlantic alone 
we are going to install these two babies on board of canals. Uh, for better performance, for better speed of my boat, we decided to move batteries uh, from the cabin where it was before, more back to aft compartment. Uh, this way we will help boat uh, to lift the bow uh, and uh, surf better with the waves. Uh, so uh, this is a place where we are going to put them. Uh, here we will have a life raft and the batteries will be just behind it. And uh, sometimes uh, it can be some water here. This is why it's so important to have them totally waterproof. That means reliable. All right, so welcome into the cave. So here's the battery installation. It's a bit tight in here, but uh, so what we have done uh, is that um, we have lashed, lashed uh, the batteries into place. So uh, to secure them into the boat. So it's just by Danima lashing, as you can see here. So they go to some uh, pad eyes. So we have made uh, our own soft pad eyes uh, that are then glued onto the onto the hull and to the bulkheads of the boat. And uh, this is just to to save weight and to to make it a uh, you know this is to, to make a lightweight uh, installation of it. And we also reused uh, the foam from, from the packaging of, of the batteries, uh, so they are standing a, in a very good way. So they are secured from uh, sliding sideways uh, by, by an extra time by this foam. And then uh, we have uh, the electrical installation. So you cannot just, uh, you should have equal length uh, of cables to each battery. So in order to do that, we have done like a star connection here. So inside here, uh, you see this is on the plus side. So this is the cable coming from uh, the left battery and then this is from the right battery and then in the middle here this is the cable that goes to the switch panel to the main switch uh, of the boat. All right and then uh, we can see these nice features we can right now we have actually turned off the batteries so this is really really good e even at the installation phase because now uh, the batteries are totally switched off there's no voltage coming out uh, on the plus and minus pole here so uh, actually it makes it really convenient because we're not gonna end up in a, making a short circuit here further here on this installation we have a in this case we have a fuse here uh, directly installed on the battery we will switch uh, or we will change this to a, to a fuse uh, with all with an included external switch because that's kind of uh, the rules how batteries shall be installed in uh, recreational uh, boats well this is not really a recreational boat but it's um, in the leisure market for boats uh, this is how it shall be so we're gonna change this one to uh, a switch and a fuse and right now we only have the fuse so uh, this fuse, uh, based on the dimensioning of the cables, uh, so we have a 50 ampere uh, fuse. It sounds quite little, but actually we, our charging uh, never will exceed 30 amps. And uh, the consumption of the boat when sailing is around 3 to 4 amps. So actually it's a very, very low power consumption in this boat. So this is the installation. <laughs>